All right, well, today's gonna be a little different because I had some things I wanted to talk about. You know, right now in, in life recently, I've been going through like just such terrible motivation and unclarity, no clarity based on like, you know, how life is. And I wanted to make this video specifically to like target the younger audiences because when I was younger, I used to think that, oh, I, I know what I wanna do. I already have everything planned out. And I'm here to tell you that if you think like that, like I did, you have no idea like the possibilities that will happen in your life. Sometimes you might do like a 180, 90 degrees and you're like, oh, like I thought I was going to stay in the States and all of a sudden I'm, I'm living in Canada. Like what the, what the heck is that? I am making this video because I want to help you guys. You know, I want to give you some reassurance because unfortunately when I was younger, I was... I still am a freaking idiot. <laughs> but uh, the thing is, is that uh, me personally, I believe that I have a tickophobia. A tickophobia. Um, I have struggled with this so much just because I have very bad self image issues, which again is like, it could be any one of you guys that have the same problems as me. And I have really bad uh, self confidence, you know, anything like. Freak, I'm, I might be undiagnosed or something. <laughs> I struggle with that a lot. Basically, every time I try and do something new, for example, I try jujitsu, powerlifting, cross country, everything. Like, what I realized is that in my past, when I used to try stuff, I used to be so put down motivationally because of people. And it affected me in the long term because I ended up. I mean, with like these mental issues that, oh, I can't do this because I'm this, or I can't do this because I'm this. And uh, now that I'm a little more grown up, it's died down a little bit, but it's still there. It's not as bad as it was. The voice is in my head, but it's, it's still there. And uh, if you guys have this similar issue, I kind of want to help you guys break out of your shell with this video. I used to get bullied a lot in, in high school and in middle school as well. There's some dudes that are like, oh, you, uh, cause when I was in like freshman, sophomore, middle school, I was obese. I used to try and play soccer, you know, do cross country, but I would have dudes and, and girls too. They would tell me like, oh, like, aren't you a little too fat? or a little <laughs> aren't you a little too you to be doing this me trying to play it off you know be cool and like nonchalant i'd be like oh no it's no problem you know but it at the end of the day it, it did affect me it, it should be something to motivate you not diminish you this book i read uh about arnold schwarzenegger and and it's called the seven rules to like better yourself one of the things that he says is that you can either there's two options Sorry, three options. The first option is that if you receive negative back talk from people that are trying to demotivate you and say that you're scum, you're garbage, you can't do this, freak those people, first of all. Your future is determined by you, no one else. The second thing that Arnold said is that you can use that negativity by using it as fuel to push yourself even further and better to, to make yourself a better person to make yourself better at the, the thing that they're telling you you suck at. Like, oh, Asensio, you suck at soccer, or you suck at running. Use that f as fuel to push yourself to your limits, surpass yourself, surpass. The, the whole goal is to be better than you were before. If you're not better than you are before, if you're not better than yourself than you were yesterday, do something today that'll make you better than you were the day before that could be doing five push-ups uh, maybe you can do one try something do squats uh, read a book which is what i'm doing i i thought i was like oh i freaking hate reading books that was a negative incentive that was put into my brain by the dudes that i used to go to school with like oh reading stoop it's not find what you like what others may think is cringy you might be a freaking prodigy in and make millions of dollars off. I, I don't know. Life is so unpredictable. That's the thing I'm trying to tell you guys. Focus on yourselves. When you receive that negative backlash, use it as fuel. The third thing was that you can obviously just not listen to them. Just literally block it off. And don't take any negative things. Unfortunately, I wasn't as wise as I was before in high school and uh, 
and if I'm if I'm being like completely honest with you guys, like with YouTube and stuff like that, I mean, you know, it's fun playing games and and uh, doing all that stuff, but you know, like editing takes freaking hours. I could spend over five hours just editing a single video that might not even get views. That's how I feel right now. And but I feel like through that suffering, I'm still growing which is a good thing because that means I was better than who I was yesterday. I am scared. Like I said, I am scared of failure. I don't know where I'll be with this channel in like five years. We just have to put the work in the things that we want the most. Now, a thing that is like confusing to me that I still don't know about, how do we find what we want to do? And unfortunately, I don't even have the answer for that. I mean, yeah, like I said, I, I'm scared because I don't know where I am going to be in the future. I don't know if, if I'll have enough money to, I don't know, go to college or, or have, uh, shoot, I don't even know if I'll be homeless or something. I don't know. But, um, <laughs> I'm scared. I became a more religious person ever since I was more like self-conscious about my problems and my issues and stuff like that. Which, uh, some, if you clicked on this video, that's probably you now. I guess the answer is literally to just have faith in what you do. You know, invest in yourself and, and invest in, in the time, invest in your effort, invest in yourself. Like I said, invest in yourself in, and believe that whatever that you want to do, when you follow what you love and you know, you become successful at anything that you choose to do, that outcome would be a bajillion times better than if you were too scared or swayed from your opinion, like when you were younger by other people. Imagine, be like, oh, I'm, I'm with the cool kids and, and they told me that soccer's stupid, but you could have been the next Lionel Messi or Ronaldo. I don't care who you guys freaking follow. Right now, I'm at what, like two, I'm at 271 subs. I could say, oh, I'm just gonna quit and like try find another thing. Or I could say I can endure it for a little bit more. See where I am at in a year. Who knows? Some people explode randomly. Some people go from zero subs to like 30k subs and like the first thing they post. Am I jealous? Yes. <laughs> no good thing comes easy. It comes to those who wait. My message to you guys, keep going. Christ put me here probably to tell you that today. There's a scripture in the Bible where Peter and the rest of the apostles, they go out into sea, right? And uh, it starts storming and there's freaking waves crashing, thunder, lightning, rain, everything, all the above. And out in sea, they look out into the ocean and they see someone standing there. They get a little bit closer and they realize it's, it's Jesus Christ. They look at him and they're like, oh no, it's, it's fake. That thing is a ghost. But then Jesus calls out to them and Jesus calls on Peter. And he tells Peter, if you have faith and believe in me, walk out onto the water, come to me. You will be saved. At, like... Some of the apostles were like, what are you crazy? That's obviously a ghost, don't do it. But Peter walked out because he, he had the faith. He walked out to Jesus, he grabbed his hand, but something startled him out in the ocean, which caused him to lose faith and he fell down, right? He fell down, he started drowning. He, was, he came back up, he was like, Jesus help me. Jesus grabbed him and told him, why did you lose faith? The thing in that story is that Jesus let Peter fall, but he didn't let him drown. That's all I wanted to tell you guys today. I hope you guys have a blessed Sunday, which today is Sunday, but you guys might watch this on a different day. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.